Hey, hi, hello everybody and welcome back to the Goat Force Gaming channel where we play the roguelikes and the roguelites every single time. Folks, it is always tremendous to be back out here with you. Today we're taking another look at Storm Edge. This is an action roguelite that is going to be coming out soon. This one uh, is going to hit the streets on September 13th and... The dev was kind enough to give us all an advanced look. We're going to grab this for free. Uh, last time around, we got through Chapter 2 and opened up Bear, uh, which we can now utilize. And Bear's got some interesting attacks here. So he's more of a melee user, getting out there and putting the strikes in. Uh, he can also throw the shield and if we grab the shield if we grab the shield if we grab the shield we're gonna get a barrier like that pretty nice right um on successful dodges we're gonna create a circle rune and that's gonna call forth lightning strikes for any enemies that are caught inside uh, we're also gonna be jumping into the endless snow for the first time so hey Let's get in there, let's uh, have some fun. See if we can, I don't know, kick some ass. Apparently we've got uh, some fires going that we can stand inside as well. Ooh, this seems appropriate. The Grizzly School. Plus 100% basic attack damage. Casting basic attack generates one additional combo point. Awesome. Basic attack turns shield into red shield. Minus 10% attack speed. I can live with that. Okay, let's try that. It seems like we're just gonna knock shields down faster, maybe is, is what that's saying. All right, starting out strong, that's what I like. I think these guys are exploding when uh, we take them out. Oof, man. Let's get that shield out there. Uh, I really like this circle. It's almost like, uh, I don't know, electric garlic, right? If you know, you know. And his cyclone definitely sucks in the enemies, which is interesting as well. Okay. Not too shabby. Not the best we've ever done, but uh, that's okay. Well, let's see. Plus 40% damage to illusion skills. That's not bad because uh, that refers to those lightning blasts that I believe do 12 damage right now. So that would take them to what, about 16? If my math is right? Not bad. I am not sure what these do. Must do something. All right, let's uh, use that as well. I should probably be saving that for combat. Ooh, just missed that one. You're like, no, goat. That was... 15 seconds. That's more than just a miss. Plus 35% area of effect. I, I think I think that would be pretty great for what we're doing with bear. Yeah, let's do that. A lot of his stuff seems to be. Air oh yeah. Okay, that's some that's some serious awesomeness. Um, I do declare that we're going to enhance an illusion skill. Now, some of you in the comments section said, Hey, Goat, you know, the game's really cool, right? But, uh, man, it looks like, you know, the combat areas are really similar in, in design. And uh, I'd agree, you know? I, I think I want to see a little bit more variety overall. Um... And this, 
these these torches are interesting. Again, I'm I'm not sure what they do. They do damage to the enemies. Let's let's draw them in. Let's see. No. Okay, they don't do that. All right, let's dodge that. I'm go ahead and use some health too. Perfect. All right, I mean, we took him down pretty fast. I hope everybody had a nice weekend. Uh, mine was good, but I will tell you, I, I spent a good deal of it painting. And, uh... I can't move my neck around all the way, and, and you know, that, that kind of stinks, because that can be important sometimes uh, when you're doing things like, I don't know, driving, uh, or, or looking at two monitors at the same time. You know, it, it's got a little bit of a crick in it from looking up at the ceiling the entire time. Um, but the good news, bad news is that I don't know that I will be asked to paint uh, again anytime soon, because, um, well... There were some streaks, and uh, by some, I, I do mean a lot. I tried my best. Legit, I tried my best, and uh, I don't know. It didn't go well. Plus 30% area of effect. I mean, that would be great, but we do not have 15. We only have 8. Enemies in the circle rune have an increased 35% chance to be dealt a critical hit. That seems worth it. Now... This game does have multiplayer. We haven't talked about that yet. So, you know, if you were in here with a buddy, you might want to take a look at that. But uh, today the goat is on his own. So we're going to go with that and uh, expand things even further. Yep, love it. Okay. Um, I think we'll go with that. Yeah, so we're painting the ceiling as part of the kitchen project. You know, we had to prime the drywall first, and, and then the paint goes on top of that because that's how drywall works. Okay. Learned all kinds of science as, as part of this project. Um, but it turns out, you know, even with a roller, you know, and I thought rollers were like easy mode, you know, the, the brushes is like uh, you know, intermediate, you know, you want to challenge. Um, turns out you can mess up a wall even with a roller. Uh, you have to go in the V shape, right? That's what they recommend. You got to do a lot of Vs. And uh, turns out I was bad at that. So I did a lot of uh, straight back and forth. And that resulted in things like lines and things like glops and things like uh, paint all over the floor. Okay? And um, that's not something you want. Now, here's the nice thing. We're replacing the floor as well. So if, if you wanted to, if you were like, you know what, I want to just get sloppy and start throwing paint everywhere, this would be the ideal situation for that. Um, my wife wouldn't be cool with it, but, uh, you know, it, it'd be fun for a second, right? Let's go with the, uh, max health. That would be, that would be good for the situation. So, I got paint all over the, the goddamn place. Um, like, in all the places except for the place that it was supposed to go. Uh, and there's a lot of streaks. You know, so, like, if you were going for streaks, I did a great job. Um, really did, you know, but, uh, but we weren't in this situation. So, um, a lot of it has to be done over again. And, uh, what I got for all the effort was a very sore neck. Um, but that's okay. So I hope you had a great weekend. Uh, Grizzly Roaring is considered a basic attack. Huh. So that's probably like if you buffed a basic attack... That would also be buffed. Grizzly Roaring will be cast a second time, one second after the first cast. 
Grizzly Roaring grants plus 30% damage. Oh, wow. Man, I like that, but they're hitting us with that gold requirement again. All right, let's do this. Grizzly Roaring triggers, of course, when we uh, pop off the use of our flask. Uh, let's go with the Relic Altar. Okay. Yeah, the areas still seem to have, like, that same starting. And it does seem like, you know, the, the design of the areas are similar, doesn't it? So definitely some different traps. Uh, and I wish I knew exactly what this fire was for. Ah, uh, there's that double grizzly. Okay. What does this do? Let's see. So I also opened up the meta progression capability where, you know, if we don't want to take one of these, we can just trade it in for gold. And I think we are going to be doing that. Let's uh, turn that into gold. So we did some painting and uh, on Sunday, uh, my dad ended up coming by and helping with the paint. Um, my dad is an excellent painter. Really, really good. Um, he is patient where I am not. And, uh, you know, we were, we were very, very happy to have his help. It was nice of him to come out and uh, throw us a hand. He did a beautiful job. We went with a really interesting color. Uh, it's got some grays and some blues and, you know, it kind of depends on uh, the time of day and the type of lighting that you have in the area because it, it has, you know, a few different looks to it depending on the lighting. You know, it's that morphing paint, right? You've heard of that. No, it's not the morphing paint. All right, plus 15% attack speed. Well, I tend to think we're better off with the health. So we're going to trade this in too. And we'll definitely grab that. Any more hearts laying around? Maybe not. Cheers to you, by the way. I am out here with a delicious ginger citrus twist Waterloo. I know, a little bit later in the day. We're just out here relaxing. Don't want to be up all night. But I hope you have an excellent coffee or tea or hot chocolate or whatever you like. Thunder Rush triggers perfect dodge. You perform a perfect dodge when you dash. So Thunder Rush triggers perfect dodge. Minus 30% damage. Okay. Plus 30% movement speed when casting, plus 50% pulling force. That would be good. Grant six barrier when dash range is short. I think we're going to go with this. I like the additional pull. So I do think that's an uh, awesome ability. All right. We are getting close to seeing a boss encounter here with Bear. Can I tell you something awesome? You know, I tend to hang out a little bit on the Rogue Lights subreddit. I think they got a nice community there. Sometimes I find out about games and indie developers that way. But somebody had posted and said, hey, you know, who do you who do you like to watch? Which YouTubers or streamers do you like to watch that create content in the rogue space? And do you know there were two people that mentioned the Goat Force Gaming channel? Isn't that cool? I thought that was really neat. Does that mean we've made it? I think it does. All of you are excellent. We're out here doing it. Every time. I always appreciate the support from everybody, but it was cool to see that. Get the mention. All right, I think minus 
10% movement speed, but plus 40% max health. Wow. I would like that. All right. Um, let's, speaking of, let's get some health back. And then we'll fill our container up again. I know, we missed it. We got these. All right, when you are in a circle rune, casting Fist of Lightning makes it call an immediate lightning strike. That's cool. Plus 100% critical hit chance when you have the barrier. The next two Fist of Lightning have 100% and 60% chance to summon a lightning. Well, we don't have the 15 gold anyway, so I think we'll go with that. All right, we've got one more to go here. Let's go with the relic. Maybe we'll get something good. Yeah, I played uh, more Hades 2 this weekend also. Still having just a great time with that. I feel like I'm building up capability with Hades 2. Uh, we have we have gotten to some tough encounters in Hades 2 at this point, and uh, I, I think the challenges are fair. Uh, I think I, you know, just have to build up my sea legs a little bit more. Okay, that suction is really good. Very helpful. So far, we're killing it as far as these chest timers go. Oof. Let's get this guy. Come on. Nice. Bear just really goes to town. I mean, sometimes I'm just holding down the mouse button and Bear just kind of does all the work. Oh, missed it by a second. All right, let's see what we got here. So, we'll pop that off now. Plus 40% critical hit damage. Plus 25% damage when you have a barrier. Wow, plus 80% heavy strike damage. Um, hmm. I tend to like that one. Okay. I think this is it. This is the final encounter. And uh, we don't have a ton of life. Depending on how you feel about 75 out of 230. Uh, to me, it looks light, but... Um, once more into the maelstrom. At least we made it to the boss. Let's see what happens here. Okay, so we've become Ulrich again. For some reason. Maybe he was there the whole time. Who's there? Get lost. No way. Is that Lily? Get lost. Lily. It's me, Ulrich. Get lost. Stop, Lily. That cape. You're still wearing it. I gave you that cape 20 years ago. Do you remember? Wow, 20 years ago? That thing's held up pretty good. They probably didn't get that at the, uh, you know, second-hand store. You know what I'm saying? It's probably fancy. It's probably one of them Nike or Reebok capes. Get lost. Damn it. Okay, Lily the Possessed. Oh, goodness. Okay, so she's... Oh, man, she's throwing those in a line. Oh, oh my. Oh, wow. Okay, Lily's not messing around. But we got 32 diamonds.
and probably some extra devotion, right? So, what do we want to open up for next time? Relic Table offers three additional options in exploration. Repairs the second Relic Table in camp. Can't do that yet. The Artisan will prepare a second Relic on each Relic Table for you before the exploration. So that's the one that we can see from town. I actually wouldn't mind some additional health options if we could. Plus 10% Life Berries recovery effect. I think that's probably worth doing, you know? I mean, this would be nice too, because then that would ensure that we'd be able to afford at least one of those upgrades, because we'd be coming in with 16, but I think we're gonna go with this. Okay, so what do we think of Bear? And, uh, you know, maybe we don't wanna blame any distastefulness towards Bear on Bear himself. Maybe we want to blame that on Goat. Uh, maybe Bear is an Adonis that should have had no problem against the ice boss that we went up against. And maybe Goat just really, uh, you know, didn't show up ready to play. But, uh, well, that, that just means we've got to try again sometime. So I'll tell you what. Let's get together again sometime soon. We'll uh, play a roguelike or a roguelite because that's what we do every single time. And, uh, you know, we'll give away a video game at least once a week because we can do those uh, because of you, of course, and, and all of your support. And I really appreciate that. And right now we're uh, giving away a copy of Hades 2 once a week uh, for as long as that series is going. And... Uh, I don't know. I'm thinking it's going to be going for a little bit here. So thanks to all of you for enabling the channel to do that. It's, it's really cool. Uh, we'll see you next time out there. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Talk to you soon.